Ah, my old enemy. Stairs. Stairs in video games are weird. If you think about it, characters in games don't really step and walk around. More like they glide on the ground. So when the player glides into a raised floor, we can't just let them go up anything they glide into. We need to know, is it a wall? Is it a step? There's some logic we need to do in this situation. In the last devlog, I set up collision code for walls with jumping and falling. So when we hit a step, how do we determine it's a step and not a wall? Well, the solution varies depending on the game. One common trick developers use is to turn stairs into invisible ramps. We're already gliding across the floor, so if the stair wasn't made of steps, but a floor at an incline, we could just continue to glide up the incline. However, that solution has some drawbacks. You'd have to go through the level and make every staircase a ramp. Oh, and that curb right there? Yeah, that needs to be a ramp too. More critically, this makes level design more complex with all the extra checking for what is a step, and this also creates a disconnect for the player. See, as the model you see and the collision you get, they are no longer the same. However, there is a better solution to this. To solve this, we just set a max step size. This is a value we set to determine how high a character can step up. It's sort of our decider on what is a step and what is a wall. So taking this value, we do a simple check on the collision and make a potential step up with our max step size. If there is no longer a collision, then we just move the player up. This works, but there is a noticeable problem here. Because we're just snapping up a set amount, this creates a jittering effect. Now, a smart person would use some kind of vectors or ray cast to get the step and make sure the player moves to the new point over time. My solution is more smoke and mirrors. I use linear interpolation on the camera height to make the change in Z more smooth. Wait a second. What is linear interpolation? Linear interpolation, or LERP for short, helps smooth out changes by easing a value from one point to another. To be able to LERP, we need to make use of three values. Value A, typically the value you have, value B, the value you want, and the amount you want to LERP, usually a percentage, so a number between 0 and 1. Plugging all these numbers in, LERP will return a percentage value back to us. So let's say value A is 0, and value B is 100, and the LERP amount we want is 0 0.3. So we start at 0, and we LERP 0.3% of 100, which is 30. So the function will return 30. How is that useful? Well, rather than teleporting our camera's height to a new value, we can instead just take small steps over time, making the change in height smoother than just a snap. This is great, and it's an easier fix for the camera snapping rather than some more complex math. Unless I'm doing some kind of frame rate dependent stuff, this approach shouldn't have any issues. If you want to know more about what I mean by that, uh, Freya Homer actually has a really great video that goes into way more depth about LERP. So, to sum up, when the player collides with an object, we check if moving up by our set step height gets them out of collision. Then, we'll use LERP to smoothly adjust the camera height, eliminating that snapping effect. And just like that, we have functional stairs! So, now we have a collision system that handles walking, jumping, falling, and climbing up stairs. There's just one more challenge left to conquer. I can't swim. You can't what? I can't swim. <laughs>